Hey everybody. Now I wanted to give my thoughts on last night's um, Impact Wrestling debut, the official Impact Wrestling debut, which I would consider, and I said this briefly as an example in my one of my videos, a soft reboot for TNA. Now, I didn't see it, but I will try to see it later, but I did see some clips. And, um, honestly, folks, some people have the difference of opinions on it. Um, some, some feel that it's a common, like the Schleg Daddy, you know, the Schleg Daddy at Off the Rope Show. He, uh, he feels that it's nothing more than a combination, the set itself, this is what I'm talking about, the set itself is nothing more than a combination of Thunder, of WCW Thunder and WWE Smackdown, when, it, when Smackdown first began. That's the way he looks at it. Um, some might consider it, like I consider it, like it's nothing more than an in, almost a dead on, dead on uh, remake of the Thunder, uh, of Thunder, in a way. Yeah, it's a little, I mean, yeah, the, the set is a little bit better at times than the Thunder set was. I'm not trying to say that. But to me, that's what it reminds me of. Nothing more than a revamped version of Thunder. Almost like the later version of Thunder, except it's not a big old jumble tron in the middle of the arena, or in the, at the top, where the entranceway is. So that's the only difference. You know, besides everything else, you know, it looks completely like Thunder, in a way. You know, that, that's my honest opinion. You know, yeah, it's got maybe a, some similarities to SmackDown, like the, like the ring apron is, is black and everything with the, look, with the sign, that, with the name of the program and, and, and stuff like that. But, you know, honestly, folks, it's, to me, it's nothing more than, you know, except for the ring apron, to me, it's nothing more than a WCW Thunder revamp. That's all it is. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm not the, the only person that sees that. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that um, everybody else sees that. I haven't watched Trista Goley's yet video on it, but I uh, probably heard a little bit. But, folks, that's what it looks like to me. I mean, the ring ropes, very similar to the Thunder ring ropes. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I mean, yeah, the only difference is the turnbuckles. The turnbuckles, the turnbuckles have impact wrestling on them. Okay, big whoop-de-doo, right? Big whoop-de-doo. And the ring apron, like I said, similar to the SmackDown, but overall, you just get a general feel of what you're looking at is nothing more than a revamped version of Thunder. With the only exceptions being the ring apron and the turnbuckles, all you got is a revamped TNA version of Thunder. That's all it is. I mean, Schleg Daddy said it best, and I think everybody would agree with what he said, and I quote, sort of what he said, if you wanted to make it different, bring back the six-sided ring. Show us that you're really putting wrestling first. Yeah, change the color if you want to. Yeah, put the ring ropes blue and everything, but, you know, bring the six-sided ring back. But he basically emphasized, bring back the six-sided ring. That would have helped. This is just changing the coloring of your brand from black and red and gold to blue, white, and black. That, that's all it is, folks. All you're doing is taking out two colors and adding and keeping the black part, but you're adding, instead of having red and gold, you're having blue and white. Well, you, I mean, I mean, what is TNA, Impact Wrestling, whatever they want to call them, those, what do they expect to happen, huh? They expect people to take wrestling seriously again? 
okay, all right, true, they had some wrestling matches. But according to what some people said, they ended the last 27 minutes of the show, 15, 20 minutes of the show, with promos. Excuse me. But that's what they did. So, so I ask you, what sense does that make? Oh, and, and, how, and, and get this, how do you, how do you begin your first official soft reboot of your brand, of your show, for your com of your flagship show for your company? Not by having the person that represents the network being there. Oh, no, 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 no. You have the person representing the network look, up north, if you were in New York, with Hulk Hogan and the network. Storyline-wise. And then, what do you, who do you have in charge for the night? Who do you have in charge for the night? Eric Bischoff. And what happens? Your first official night of a soft reboot and rebranding of your flagship show for your company turns out to be nothing more than an immortal gang up session. Nothing more than an immortal TNA version of NWO gang up section, uh, a session all night long. That's what it is. I mean, and then next week, not to give much away, but apparently everything gets leveled again. Everything gets evenly leveled again. I mean, come on, folks. TNA, I like you as a company, but come on. Seriously? Seriously? If you're going to change things, rebrand yourself, give yourself a soft reboot, here's what you do. Bring back the six-sided ring, put blue ropes around it all you want. But all you're doing, people, is just doing a revamped version of Thunder the way things are, with a few exceptions of the turnbuckle and and the ring apron, and that and that's it. I mean, what? Just because you think blue and light blue and, and light blue and white combined with black, the SmackDown colors, if you will, are going to get your attention because those are the colors of the show that was named after the Rock saying. You think that's going to get your attention, folks? It's not. It's not. Yeah, you had more wrestling matches. That's good. But TNA, think about it for a second, people. Think about it. Just because you said, oh, we're going to change things, we're just going to change the color schemes of our flagship show's program from black and gold, from black, red, and gold to black, white, and blue doesn't make a difference. The product's got to get better. Now, according to some, you took a step forward with talking a lot about the X Division, showcasing the X Division a lot, lot, even if it was in humiliating fashion. But still, that's a step forward. But the question is, can you continue that progress? We'll see what happens next week, not to give much away and the weeks after, leading to Slammiversary. We'll see what happens. And honestly, folks, that's my take uh, on the new Impact Wrestling set. And from what I saw last night, and from what people have said. So, so folks, give me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And I'll talk to you later.